Hello and welcome to this first video in the Blender Lighting and Presentation playlist. In this first video I will talk about the effects of light and camera movement on the perception of the animation, what it feels like. So let's just get right into it. Start up with this one here. These are a, a selection of short videos. I'll stop it and we started from the very top and at full resolution. And what I would like to say with this one is we have several objects here. The object that is f way in the back, less worked upon, is the one that I'm actually focusing on here. And I kind of want to prove that by putting only minimal illumination on these ones and put most of the light here and perform camera movements that says that I'm mostly interested in this object here. Okay, that's, that's beautiful with pixelation there. Anyway, you can also see that I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to this object because I didn't bother to illumine the backside anything. It's just there's this kind of um, unnecessary cast shadow here and we can't really see the backside. So that's I think is a problem and that's intentional. I left it like that just to show that if even if you you know, spend all that light on something. If you don't do it carefully, it might look uh, less than ideal. And in this case, um, this is for sure the least worked upon object, uh, which, which I basically what I want to say by that is you work really hard on your models. This is, you know, the model you work really hard on. Um, and then um, if you don't give it the time of day, so to speak, by illumining it, you know, paying attention to that, putting it in a, an environment where it, uh, which supports it, and have camera movements that are, give it justice, then uh, the object will suffer from the presentation. So in this case, even if this object here is is not worked on at all, it's just a shift a mesh cube that's all let's just put there and then a very basic material uh, and the lights are put on it and we are circling it with the camera so that that kind of, this kind of telling the viewer that this is what we're interested in so this is an extreme of so to speak failing to realize what it is that you want to show so i'll start it with that negative and we'll move on to something more positive this, and it's the same idea here that we we are actually putting something that is in the back front and center by moving towards it and it's the only thing that it receives illumination here and you can see that it's really sharp shadows here and uh, there there is no general lighting it's only this uh, the lights on this here and and uh, you say, well, it looks really bright here. Well, it's because there's a light sky and this surface here is transparent so we can see the sky through the, that surface. But the reality is that the only lights in this video are shining right on this thing here, on this red dice. That's actually the truth. There's no other lights. And I show you exactly what I mean by this by playing this one here which is the exact same thing, only with a black sky. Both the horizontal or horizon and the zenith sky is black. And you get a completely different mood then. Which also, I think, illustrates how powerful lighting is. And the background. Very different from the previous one although everything is identical except for the color of the sky. So, And then I would just like to 
discuss one more item before we look at the blender file and here's what speed does it's the same camera movement in both this one and we can actually and this one here and I think I'll magnify this a little bit more to full same exact movement just slower and of course there could be different opinions on this but what I would say is that this slower movement in this case allows the viewer to take in more of the background because in the previous faster movement you really didn't have a whole lot of time to look at the rest of the imagery it's only this thing that is in focus so the speed of the camera movements also allows the viewer to take in or not take in what's in the scene so that's kind of the dramatic theme of this and I will now bring up um, no we have it here actually um, there you go this is the the blender file that um, is used to create this and I think maybe I didn't have this light rig on at all I only had the hemispherical light and this these lights around here and in both cases there will be more videos in uh, more snippets later that will show the illumination of this piece here but uh, the general idea is just a traditional film light setup you have a front light or a main light a side light and a um, what do you call it a something that a light that kind of lightens up the shadows so this is this is the strongest this is this energy is 15 this is 10 and that one here is 5 so main side and backlight same thing here you have uh, that's the side yes main side and backlight and then you have the hemispherical light up here which is a general light that creates an even illumination over the entire scene and we have somewhat different cameras here or, or different camera movements uh, for instance we have this one looking down on on the scene and this one here can back up a little bit maybe to there and render that and here we also have black sky and then you can see the lights are on th that dice here and there are some lights on this one here and the lights from the main light is also illumining the side of this but I avoided having the side light hit it so if I press 7 here to look at this from the top and you can see how this one here is moving there this one here has a, this sphere uh, limiter so if I turn that off and then we look at this again and we render it then there's more light falling on this dice here because the side light is also affecting it but I didn't want that I wanted to keep the lights primarily on that so by using that spherical limitation you can actually control also a, a point light so you don't have to deal with some of the so to speak stray rays that you were not really interested in because I'm mostly interested in this object here and of course these um, light settings are rather bright so it uh, makes it for a pretty bright image 
And I think that this is, is pretty much what I wanted to talk about. This, how the lights that you put on something put the attention on that object. How the speed of the camera is important because you have time to take in or not take in the, the environment around it. That's just your choice, you know, what you want to do. If you want to focus on something, then you might want to move really quickly to it, have more light on it, and, and so forth. And also the fact that the, the, let's say the big background, in other words, the sky or the, the background that is, you know, in, in the distance, it, it could be dark or light, and that will set the mood pretty, pretty strongly for, for the imagery. So these are really my first thoughts on, on illumination and presentation. And I thank you for viewing, and I'll get back to you in the next video.